2K Sports pregame show. Obviously, we've seen the value of the three-pointer increase over the years. Every team looking to stretch the floor farther and farther to maximize spacing. The best of the best go at it tonight. And at this point, Shaq, there are so many great shooters in this league, it's hard to leave certain guys out of this event. Yeah, a few of the selections may have been close calls, but we all know who the favorites are. Well, you know what? There are a few guys here that are in the top tier, so it should be another showdown for the ages. And now time for tip-off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan with the call. All-star action is on the menu tonight. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Hillel. And this place is going crazy. Tonight, the best shooters in the NBA battle it out in the three-point contest. It's time to find out which player has what it takes to beat the clock and his opponents. This is all about concentration, guys. You get on a roll, lock into that rhythm, that's what you try to do here. Absolutely, and the crowd is completely behind you, unlike when you play a game and, and sometimes they're with or against. And watching on TV, such a different environment than a game. This is really a fun event for everyone. And so here's Curry now. Five racks with the last rack composed of all money balls. Those are worth two points instead of just one. All in all, a max possible score of 34. And 60 seconds to take all 25 shots. Not a ton of time. As soon as one shot is out of your hands, you have to be ready to get off the next. Your memory has to be very short in this format. Like less than a second. You have to put every miss right behind you. Forget about it. And with one miss, it can be easy to do that. But miss two or three in a row, and it becomes even more difficult for them to put that out of their mind. Seven points. Now eight points. Steph catching fire now. He's in the zone. 11 points. He's got 12. Drains the money ball. Finishing strong. He's got 16. He finishes the round with 17 points. He turned in a pretty good round right there, don't you think? And he managed to hit four money balls. Not terrible. But, but could have been better. Here we go with James Harden. When Harden came into the league, people were unsure if he'd be able to shoot with range in the NBA. He started out a little slow, but he's become quite the score and sharpshooter. And a lot of people thought that would be the case. It was just a matter of when. And guys, one of the cardinal sins of the three-point contest is a player trying to change his stroke after a bad rap or two. It won't work. Yeah, it's tempting to do, but trying to make adjustments during that 60-second span would be overthinking things way too much. Gets the money ball. Oh, no. Now he gets the money rack. He's got 12. He finishes with 14 points on the board. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. Kevin, I think he'd be real pleased with that score. I mean, it can always be a little bit higher, but that was plenty good. Look, I agree. He will be happy with it, but, but not ecstatic. He didn't break any records on that. So it'll be Brad Beal here. And Brad Beal, renowned in high school for his outside shooting. He was just solid. Not, not really great at Florida, but you figured he'd come around. Fellas, 25 shots in 60 seconds, that's a lot. One of the hard things, I'm sure, is staying focused all the way through that 25th shot. It, it absolutely is. And with the end in sight, players can suffer a letdown and not close out the round as strong as they should. 11 points. Not just 13. Money ball, no good. He's at 14. A strong close out there. And now he's in second place all by himself. And he's got 15 points when the round ends. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. And he made three out of nine money balls, missing out on a lot of extra points. So it'll be Kyrie Irving here. He's got to get at least 14. A good chance for him here. 
that score is beatable. That's two. Drains the money ball. Misses for the fourth straight time. He needs eight points more to stay in contention. Now eight points. Four more points to stay alive. Can't get the money ball. Four more points to stay alive. 11 points. That gives him 12. He comes away with four points on that rap. He's tied for second. Rock solid shooting down the stretch. He finishes the round with 17 points. I'd say a solid showing from him. And he knocked down five out of the nine money balls. Pretty good. And here we go with C.J. McCollum. There's no time to waste in this competition. The clock is ticking, and it's ticking fast. Yeah, but, but as a shooter, you don't want to keep peeking at the clock in between shots. You've got to keep that time in your head. He's got five. He needs eight points more. This is a respectable start. He needs eight points more to stay in contention. He's getting cold. Five consecutive misses. Now eight points. Seven more points to stay in contention. He needs six more points. He's made all but one of his money ball. Four more points to stay alive. That gives him 12. He's got 12 points to show for his efforts there. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have done a lot better. And any time it looked like he was starting to get into a good rhythm, he would just as quickly fall out of it. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. Wrapping up the qualifying round. He knows there's nobody coming after him. He knows the score to beat. Guys, most of the time when a player is shooting threes by himself, he's doing it in an empty gym. This is a little different. Actually, it's a lot different. And you know, it's, it's tough to replicate the environment when you talk about the shootout because you know you can be in there by yourself but you don't get the adrenaline and the crowd and the excitement that you get once you take the floor for this competition that's four misses in a row nice that ties him for the top spot here this round And that puts him in first place. He tallies 18 points. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. Boy, he cleaned up on the money balls, nailing seven out of nine. Thompson's got the best score in the qualifying round, guys. I'll bet he's excited for the finals. With the strong group we have moving on to the finals, I'm expecting a very competitive last round. I'm with you on that one. I mean, I'd be surprised if this doesn't go all the way down to the last round. And so here's Curry now. By going first, he can put a lot of the pressure on the guys behind him. He posts a good score. Money ball, no good. Three down. Now with four. Five points. Can't get the money ball. Six. That's seven. Money ball, no good. That's four misses in a row. Nine points. Eleven on the board. Down to the money rack. Make that 14. Up to 15 now. 16 points is his score for the round. Well, a very respectable performance from him there, guys. By the time he got to that fourth rack, he was feeling it. He sprayed home the entire rack. That jumper was wet. So it's Kyrie Irving ready to go. And it's 17 to go ahead. Or at least 16 to tie it up. Four points. Can't get the money ball. He's got five. Now with six. Eight more points and he'll tie things up. He's got nine. 
to 10 now. Five more points to tie it up. Two racks remaining. Five more points to tie it up. That's four misses in a row. He's getting cold. Five consecutive misses. That gives him 12. He could only get one shot to fall off the rack. Four points more to tie it up. That's four misses in a row. In the end, it's a 12-point round for him. There was just something off about him in that round. Yeah, I would guess he would like a mulligan. He finished the round with five straight misses. Not the way you want to go out. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. He had the highest score in the last round. Let's see if he can do it again here in the finals. 17 points will get the win. Honey ball, no good. Bad news right there. Now three points. Gets the money ball. At seven. That young fella, Clay, really making it look easy out there. Seven more points and he'll tie it. Good rack right there. Four points total. Misses for the fourth straight time. Eight more points for the win. Starting to freeze up a bit. Up to ten now. Nice finish. Well done. Four points more to win. Now 14. He finishes with 14 points on the board. So that's going to do it, folks. What a tremendous performance here tonight from the winner of this year's three-point contest, Stephen Curry. Such terrific sharp shooting on display. You never know who's going to take the crown. And the crowd here just loving it guys I mean we've got great seats so it definitely gives you a sense of the moment and the drama the excitement this year's three-point contest had it all it was our pleasure to bring it to you every shot terrific to watch now this is Kevin Harlan saying so long for Clark Cowan and Greg Anthony thank you and good night <laughs>